Hi, this is Tim, and welcome to Talks with Tim. And today I wanted to talk to you about a trainer idea that I have. Actually, it's, it's a prototype that we built for a specific local purpose. But when we got looking at it, I was trying to figure out whether it is something that would be useful outside of what we were intended to use, be used for. A little bit of background. We are working on some lessons to kind of introduce middle schoolers and, and maybe even elementary schoolers to our industry. And one thing that I was a little, con or mainly I was worried that school administration might be concerned with is our typical trainer does have a little bit of 120 volt over here in this corner. And then it goes on to the 24 volt power supply. And from a lessons perspective, that's actually a good thing because we can learn about a little bit, a very small bit of 120, but we have it isolated where most of the trainer is 24 volt. But I thought being, you know, younger kids that, that it would they feel a little more comfortable if it didn't have that. So this trainer here actually just has a regular computer cord on it and goes to 24 volt. And the rest of this trainer is fully 24 volt. And it's not much different than our basic trainer, except we found a 24 volt fan. And yeah, it's a little more colorful because we were trying to make it a little more fun for the kids. And we got a little arrow, in it, arrow on it so that, yeah, we can switch a fan on. And obviously we can do all types of different exercises. And I don't think that we'll probably put a PLC on it. This is more of, let's talk about what electricity does. Hey, what is that stuff that, you know, is oozing out of that wall outlet? You know, how, when you walk in and you switch a light switch on, how do the lights come on? That's kind of what I'm thinking with this one. But when we got looking at it, I kind of thought, well, okay, am I sure that this isn't a viable trainer for, you know, some other pur purposes? And what really got me thinking about this is not what maybe a month ago, we built that three phase 24 volt AC prototype trainer because we had a specific customer that wanted that low voltage three phase for training purposes. As okay, are there other applications where it's like, nope, I do not want these guys working with anything above 50 volts until they get to such and such. Would that be something that might be helpful? So a little bit about it. Um, it it is our basic trainer. It has four buttons, two two position selector switches, three three or two three positions, and we have four lights on it. Let me flip it around. And on the back, yeah, I mean, very similar. Now now we do just have a single relay on this, and this is the one downfall that I clearly identify with this setup is we have a 24 volt DC motor and. A lot of people will say, well, all you got to do is switch two wires to reverse the DC motor. Well, no, that's not true on your typical fan motor or I'll say your typical DC motor that you're going to run into outside of ones that are, that are clearly reversible. Is these are set up with a little, usually a little, some type of pulse width modulation thing in it. Not really sure the exact details. And it is only designed to run one direction. So I don't have the option on this trainer to make like a reversing contactor design and be able to reverse the motor. That's the only thing I really see that it's like, eh. But we can do a lot of wiring exercises then obviously it be as safe as 24 volt DC would be. So let me know what you think about it. I mean, is there, is there any, you know, applications that you think it would be helpful for, you know, for training people who maybe aren't qualified yet to work on 120 volt AC. Also, I, if anybody would like to brainstorm with me on ideas to engage students, um, high school students, and, you know, m my preference is to kind of push that down into even middle school students. I would love to talk to you about that. This is some, this actually is a vision that we had when we built the PLC lab was that we were hoping to have, I think I'm going to call them crash course series, where we kind of just bring some kids in and let them you know, get exposed a little bit to our industry. And we're going to you know, offer it to anyone in the area. Well, 
I'm not saying I wouldn't offer it outside of the area too. I, I won't. I won't help you get here. But if you get here, it's free. But just how can we engage with kids more to help them see one what our industry is and how fun it can be, and just kind of to spark that imagination in them so that when they're standing in front of the guidance counselor who's you know asking, well, what do you want to do the rest of your life? You know, they have at least some, you know, they've touched on some things and not just our industry. I hope other industries will do it where we'll start touching on, you know, what happens in a manufacturing environment. What, you know, what happens, you know, in a doctor's office beyond, you know, you just seeing the doctor, what happens behind the scenes? You know, what happens, you know, in a laboratory? There's, I hope we can really, you know, we've, We've kind of, I think, gone too far down the path of kids can't be exposed to danger. Don't get me wrong, I don't want kids exposed to danger, but they do need exposed to life. And uh, whether whether it's right or wrong, I I was work well, and I was I was working in them, dabbling them, whatever you want to call it, in manufacturing facilities when I was 12 years old. And I don't think I would be where I am today if I didn't have all those touches of different, different experience. So anyway, let me know what you think of this trainer. And please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Till next time. Hey, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.